Welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show, everybody. Let's get to the news and jokes. Well, guys, the election is five days away, and President Trump is busy on the campaign trail. At one of his rallies, he tried to describe what would happen if Joe Biden wins. Listen to this. If you vote for Biden, it means no kids in school, no graduations, no weddings, no Thanksgiving, no Christmas, and no Fourth of July together. Other than that, you have a wonderful life. Yeah. Yeah, wonderful life. Merry Christmas, closed down movie theaters. <laughs> Merry Christmas, boarded up schools. <laughs> Merry Christmas, abandoned gyms. It's already a wonderful life, except uh, every time a bell rings, someone gets COVID. <laughs> no Christmas. Does Trump think he's running against Biden or the Grinch? <laughs> Later, Trump was like, a vote for Biden means no Toyota thon. <laughs> No happy Honda days. No Lexus December to remember. <laughs> uh, according to Trump, electing Biden will lead to riots in the streets, an economy in the tank, and no holidays. But also, he's a sleepy politician who can't get anything done. <laughs> but this is interesting. Today, Trump and Biden were both campaigning down in Tampa, Florida. People in Tampa were like, come on, we just lost the World Series. Now we got to deal with this? <laughs> I'm glad both guys were in the same place because it finally ends my uncle's conspiracy theory that Trump and Biden are actually the same lizard person. <laughs> yep, Trump went to Tampa, and this was nice. He brought some frozen Nebraska supporters so they could thaw out. Oh. Isn't that nice? <laughs> As for Trump, you could tell his campaign is low on money because he asked Biden if he wanted to split an Uber back to the airport. <laughs> in a new poll, I saw that uh, Biden is up four points in Florida. Meanwhile, Tucker Carlson uh, claims that he has polls that show Trump ahead, but they got lost in the mail. <laughs> of course, the other big story is the pandemic, and it just came out that it's even affecting the Space Force. Listen to this. One of the highest ranking members of the Space Force has tested positive for coronavirus. The Vice Chief of Space Operations, General David D. Thompson, diagnosed yesterday. Uh, I hope he's all right, but I, I think the country will be okay. Vice President of the Space Force is like being the Vice President of a darts league. <laughs> but, th but this is smart. Just to play it safe, the rest of the Space Force will be working from home instead of their usual strip mall office. Uh, why, why do I feel like we're one day away from hearing, My fellow Americans, the coronavirus is now in space. <laughs> and what hell of a ride. I like the way uh, the anchor said Space Force. <laughs> you know, she was like, almost like mocking it or something, right? Space, Space Force? Force. <laughs> can we, Dave, can we, Dave, can we play that one more time and hear that again? One of the highest ranking members of the Space Force has said... <laughs> <laughs> Space Force. <laughs> Uh, I saw that Bed Bath & Beyond just made a big announcement about their famous coupons. Uh, take a look. Bed Bath & Beyond planning to scale back these coupons in an effort to boost profits and be more competitive on pricing. Don't worry, though. The coupons promising 15 and 20% off, they're not going away entirely. They just might not appear in your mailbox quite as often. Ah, it's devastating, because now parents will have nothing to jam in the corner of their kitchen counters. <laughs> Yep, in 2020, even your junk drawer is going through an identity crisis. <laughs> Without the coupons, who am I? <laughs> it's kind of sad, because if Pottery Barn stops sending catalogs, then there'll be no more mail. <laughs> now, this is interesting. Uh, Harley Davidson just introduced something new, and it's taking a lot of people by surprise. Watch this. And Harley Davidson has a new product. It is an electric bike, but look at that. It's not an electric motorcycle. It's an electric bicycle. Yeah. Moms heard that and were like, yeah, it's still a no. But I'm 48. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to seeing the first biker gang that takes breaks for matcha tea smoothies. <laughs> yeah, you don't look quite as badass in a Hell's Angels jacket when you're riding Pee Wee Herman's bike. <laughs> 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 I broke him, I broke him. Um, 
Well, this is cool right here. There's going to be a blue moon on Halloween this year. So Denny's is celebrating by selling a ham, egg, and cheese sandwich with blue bread. Look at this. <laughs> ah, yes, the classic color everyone associates with Halloween, blue. <laughs> So remember, even though Halloween is basically canceled, you can still make it much, much worse. <laughs> but get this, though, even though some people are skipping Halloween, sales of candy and chocolate are up more than 8% compared to last year. Yep, the only chocolate bar that isn't selling well is Hershey's Watchmacovit. <laughs> Not selling. And finally, you, you got to see this. Uh, to, to make trick or treating safer during the pandemic, a lot of people have built candy cannons. Candy cannons. T take a look, look at this. John Downs built this candy cannon. He says it is designed to keep kids safe and socially distant. The cannon is 12 feet tall. At the press of a button, it uses a shop vacuum to shoot the candy down the tube. It's a weird phrase. To keep trick or treating safe, we're introducing cannons. <laughs> Personally, I'll be loading gumballs into a pitching machine. <laughs> Uh, in other news, Candy Cannons will be dancing on the main stage tonight at Stilettos in East Rutherford. <laughs> we have a great show. Give it up for the Roots, everybody.